Hello everybody, today I'm going to show you this very nice Westinghouse 400 watt probe start metal halide bulb. This particular bulb was bought at a restore in Tempe, Arizona for $5, so that was really cheap if you ask me. And believe it or not, I believe there is base up burn position types of these metal halide bulbs made by Westinghouse, but I haven't encountered any of those bulbs yet. But if I do, I'll make a video of those bulbs in separate videos. Anyways, let's not waste any more time, and we'll look at the etch. So, I'm going to point it to some type of light source so we can get a better view of it. And it just automatically focused it in on the etch, which is really awesome. So you can see the company name, Westinghouse, and there's its logo right there. You can see that it's a 400 watt. And there's the bulb code, MH400-U, Universal Burn Position. And the bulb shape type right there, the elongated dimple 37. And right next to the bulb shape type is the ballast type, the M59. And it's recommended for use in enclosed fixtures only because there is no shield around the arc tube. And there's the high intensity discharge bulb type, which is obviously metal halide. Right there, you can see that it's made in China, which is not a surprise at all. Because a lot of these bulbs these days are made in China. And there's the warning symbol of Mercury right there. And there's the letter R. That means if this bulb breaks, it'll emit UV radiation, which would not be good. And this bulb is not recyclable. So if people didn't know what that HG symbol meant, you can see down here that there's a note meaning that this bulb contains Mercury in its arc tube. So that's it for the etch. So let's look at the construction real quick. So, you can see the stem down there, and you can see the welding process to connect to the arc tube. So, you can see the probe circuit right there, and you can see inside, you can see the electrodes. Sorry if the etch was in the way, but you can see the electrodes in the arc tube. So, really neat. You can see the other one up there. I'm not sure if you can see it because it's all cloudy. The arc tube's really cloudy. Anyways, we'll get back to the construction real quick. There's the arc tube itself. You can see that there is two coatings of ceramic on both ends of the arc tube, meaning that this is a universal burn position type. So, this is a very nice bulb. And we do have the dimple for extra support for the arc tube. And surprisingly, the way that this bowl was made, it's almost the same way as Philips makes their metal halide bulbs that are 400 watts. So they basically have the resistor right there welded on, you know, not the wires in, you know, very big curves. It's just like, you know, two, two right turns and one left turn and it goes to the other electrode. Sorry for all of that banging noises in the background. And as you can tell, it has uses a ceramic tube to help keep the lead wire from melting. As for Philips, they use quartz tubes, just like the metal halide arc tube um, material. So, there's the other electrode that goes into the arc tube. If you want to read the etch, pause now real quick. Alright, there we go. So there's the electrodes once again. You can see the buy starter electrode right there. Cool. So overall, this is a very nice bulb. And I'm going to give you a little bit of specifications about this bulb before I turn it on. So this bulb produces 36,000 lumens. So it's the same lumen output on my Venture Lighting 400 watt base up burn position probe start metal halide bulb that I made just now. So. This bulb has an average life of 20,000 hours, so that is two and a half years, and that's quite a long time. And the way that you can make it last longer is you can only is only run it for like about at least 12 hours a night. It'll last for five years, so that's pretty cool. And the color temperature of this bulb is 4,000 K or cool white and is not dimmable because this is an arc lamp. So... 
I believe that is it for the specifications. So we also have a very nice hard aluminum base with a nice glass or ceramic insulator. Sorry about that. So we have a nice ceramic insulator as well. So anyways, we're gonna go ahead and give this bulb a shot and we'll see how it starts up. There might be a delay since this bulb has been slightly used, but I'm not too sure if I, if this is, tr if that's true. So I'm gonna go, anyways, I'm gonna screw it into my fixture here. Alrighty, set the camera on the ballast here, and this is a very big ballast right here. So there you go with that. Set the camera right here so you can get a good view of the whole bulb itself. I'm gonna get my welding goggles on so I can protect my eyes from the intense light because this bulb produces 36,000 lumens. So it's a little weaker than my Philips 400 watt probe start metal halide bulb because that bulb produces 39,000 lumens. Anyways, we're gonna go ahead and switch off this light in the room here so we can get a better view of it turning on. So, anyways, without further ado, let's give this bulb a shot in three, two, one.
Anyway, the bulb is at full brightness and it is actually quite bright in here for a 400 watt metal halide bulb made by Westinghouse. So anyways, as you can see, it lights up this room quite nicely in very nice cool white. So anyways, I really hope you enjoyed this very nice Westinghouse 400 watt probe start metal halide universal burning position bulb. So anyways, please comment, rate, and subscribe, and thank you all so much for watching.